What's going on guys? How y'all doing tonight? Southern Guy here. And that's your official WWE Smackdown live review for... That's your official Smackdown live review for January 3rd, 2017. It took place in Jacksonville, Florida at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Intercontinental Champion The Miz opens up the show alongside Maurice by heading down to the ring and demanding an apology for Marie for Day Young. He announces uh, her first year Ambrose in the Intercontinental title match. So we get interrupted by the man himself. Rather than Young, Dean gets slapped by Maurice and says how how he's how he's worked up worried because he she lit hits way harder than the miss. Baron Corbin defeated the Baron Corbin defeated Dolph Ziggler via pitfall at one minute and thirty eight seconds with the end of days another impressive showy by Baron Corbin who picked up a victory over his former rival. Then then Ziggler played off the fact that they know each other so well. Ziggler even turns to Corbin's signature of quickly sliding out of the ring and backing and back by countering with him with a drop kick. Sending him right into the right out of the ring, a shift of form to the face. Corbett gets up close up near fall. Another corrupt reaction. Ziggler ran through and coming up usual source it, but Corbett was able to restore, retaliate, encountering the kick to kick with the rev easy. Later, the zigzag near the fall. But the lone wolf was away. But again, he kept kicking out of every everything Dolph could um, use. Bear Corbett grabbed a chair to follow up on Ziggler. But Kalisto ran down. Kalisto ran down and sent the lone wolf heading to the for the hills. As Kalisto stood tall with the chair, Ziggler decided to super kick the luchador. Kalisto, Dolph yelled about how he has never needed anybody, and then quickly left the ring. Seemingly intense and a heel turn. So that uh, so you see Dolph Ziggler after the match beating uh, um, Barry Corbin. You see Dolph Ziggler turning heel. Dolph Ziggler super kick Kalisto. And that was an instant heel turn. Just like that. Heel turn. Ziggler turned heel. He said, I don't need anybody. I never did anybody. And then we see him going to the back. And he had a confrontation with uh, Apollo Crews. He pushed him. So there you go. Dolph Ziggler is now a heel. After super kicking. Kalisto, who came to help, came to the aid of Dolph Ziggler. So Dolph Ziggler is now here, guys. He is not a baby face anymore. Also, we got to see tonight. Uh, what else did we see tonight? Oh, those different seg segments tonight.
James Ellsworth stumbles over his words and thanks Carmella for her kind words before wishing her a good luck in her match tonight. He gives her one of his shirts as a gift as she doesn't look impressed, but quickly changes her tune and asks for him to come to the ring with her, escort her out. Dolph Ziggler goes goes back to the locker room and starts throwing stuff all over the room. All over the room, Dick, but he runs a raffle of a rhino of Rhino, Bajo Rowling, and especially Paulo Cruz, who takes offense to his attack on Kalisto. Ziggler headbutts Cruz as they scrap until the other guy guys separate them. Footage from footage is shown from, from last week's Lucha Dore cost him Becky Lynch a title diaper day against Alexa Bliss. Becky, Becky Lynch Viva Becky Lynch Viva defeated Lucha Dore. Alexa Vit Alexa Bliss Viva submission two oh four minutes with the disarmor. Much of the match was spent discussing the Lucha Dore Dore by the announcers while Becky Lynch started off hot and intense offense, Lucha Dore hid under the ring and switched with Alexa Bliss, who was also in the outfit. Bliss then missed the sparkle splash and then tapped out to the disarmor by Becky Lynch to end the match. Alexa Bliss is the real Lucha Dore. Dore then double team Becky Lynch before leaving the rig together. So you seen Becky Lynch defeated. Uh, Becky Lynch defeated. Lucha um, Dore, who comes to know him as Alexa Bliss. But the Lucha Dore and Alexa Bliss attacked Becky Lynch after the match. It was time for AJ Styles and Cena's contract Saturday. So Daniel Bryant comes out to the ring to be the monitor. AJ says that he and Bryant are two different people who love what they do. And Cena is just a guy who comes back, of, back after months. He gets a title shot. Brian explains that they won rating the ratings last more last week because both guys that they are they need to follow up and deliver the best match possible. AJ Styles versus Cena. Brian brings up for the fact that AJ Styles has beaten John Cena three times already and says he good luck and then leaves the ring. AJ calls Cena the luckiest man ever being gifted. A title match from someone who else, especially his brother-in-law. AJ talks about how the tables have turned and that they are the big man around him. It states that the the ratings were because of him and not because of John Cena. He responds by saying he's got respect for AJ Styles, but he gets cut off right away and brings, brings up Cena's comments about The Rock. Years ago, and how they took, how they how he took them back. AJ then lost his passion, was dogging it because it's the same thing. It happened to Cena now. He calls John Cena a has been and said that he will never be as good as him. Cena responds and said that Styles needs to humble and how there is no respect anymore. He referred to the champion as a punk and that he is suffering from people of months. He mockingly congratulates AJ Styles for stepping up up to him and talking about the passion he has for wrestling while listening to a number of examples. He brings up the haters and says that they will never be him and that's why they chant Cena sucks. And then all that has been, he tells AJ to bring his best, and he still takes his championship. Bear Corbin interrupts the contract signing, and that the, it meant, meant that he won the Andre Giant Moral Battle Royal. On his first day, he announces that his entry into the Royal Rumble match and promises that he will win, and it will be en route to going to WrestleMania and winning the WWE Championship. He, Cena says that he is going to pick a fight with the toughest guy in the room. But before anything could happen, Styles 
blindsides Cena and kicks kicks leaving him leaving him prey to bear court. Maurice finds Renee Young and slaps her across the face as revenge for slapping the Miz. Carmella with James Ellsworth defeated Lana with her main roster debut with a submission at 52, 2 minutes 52 seconds with a code of silence. It was mostly a squash match with James Ellsworth assisting Carmella and securing the victory. WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions Tag Team Champions America Alpha defeated Brazango and not a title match via a pitfall 31 minutes with Gable pinning Brazango uh, Breeze following the the Grand Apple II and the squash match following the match. But the Wyatt family appeared on screen with Bray Wyatt telling the champions to reveal his mom that the reality will hit them sooner or later. Next week they are coming to reclaim their titles. Orton steals Harper's line and says run. Luke Harper doesn't appreciate that. Nikki Bella says that the Italian Nikki Bella and Natalia and are in the ring for a verbal competition with Nikki saying that she can't despite Natalia Natalia what she did to her and and thinks of her. Nikki says that she feels bad for Natty. And she has her sister has worked so hard to make the Bella name mean something. She accuses Natty of making a living off of her family name because of nothing because of the nothing of the Hart family. Now he fires back by calling Nikki a selfish. This shows a tweet Bret Hart put Nikki over. Natty says that she's better than Hart. Bret Hart ever was. It continues to accuse Nikki of using her sex appeal to get what she wants. And she adds that Nikki, when Nikki's beauty fades and John Cena leaves her, she is going to die alone. Dickie clocks Natalia with a forearm shot, leaving Daddy down and out. Dean Ambrose tells that he is going to get the Miz back and take the title. Jack Gallagher talks about his gentleman's duo but with Devari and his wrestling skills later on to dial 2 of 5. Next week, John Cena versus Barry Corbett. America Alpha. Defending the tag team titles against the Wyatt family and Nikki Bella versus Natalia. All happening next Tuesday on SmackDown Live. Dean Ambrose defeated The Miz with Maurice at uh, ringside via pinfall. 14 minutes and 17, 17, 14 minutes and 17 seconds with the Dirty Deeds to win the Intercontinental Championship. Dean Ambrose was obviously anger. Out of offense, and very quickly until the Miz took control before he bats bit into a commercial break. Match of the rest of the match was back and forth. The near near pin falls for both mid. Ambrose click kicked out of a skull crush finale late in the match, and then prevented the referee from calling calling for the for the DQ for Maurice's interference. Instead, ejecting her. From the match, Miz used the opportunity to, to paintbrush Ambrose with the title and get the another heart near near pinfall. Dean Ambrose planted the Miz with his finisher to win the the Intercontinental title as celebrate.